Well, obviously, I've only worked with with a small number of players from the time here. You know, Nathan Homish, Nathan Kalis, and Luke were the three players that, that spring to mind immediately. But all the other players here, some exciting young talent. I don't see any need to for any changes in playing or staff. You know, I'm more than happy to work with everyone that's here at the moment. And, uh, and as again, evaluate and assess how we're going through the course of the season. Every year there's changes in staff and players, but at this stage I don't see any. Daniel Michael Hagen said some attitudes need to be adjusted. Do you take that on board? Do you just do you check it yeah, out? Yeah, take yourself? a little bit, of course. Yeah, you listen. To, I listen to what a lot of people say, but um, you know, I, I have to be who, who I am, and my own personality will come through over the course of time. I'm not going to stand my foot down right now. Um, but you know, I, I do like to uh, get information uh, before you make any decisions. That's not going to change. So many things have to come together to be have a, a successful team from year to year, so uh, um, we're just looking at being more successful, certainly having the, the players um, more disciplined off the field as well as on the field, that we, we need to, to step that up, um, as I think most of the clubs are doing throughout the NRL, so, uh, um, and then there's so many things that you uh, can't control, um, but we'll be trying to control as much as we can. Well, I think that this club can, can improve. Uh, obviously, here to make an effort to make them improve. Uh, you know, I consider that the contributions I make, along with the staff that I'm working with and with the players, I don't see any reason why we can't be successful. Daniel, there's been a bit of talk recently about the relative strengths and weaknesses of the Super League compared to mm. the NRL. Do you see this <coughs> as a tougher challenge? It's, it's, it's a tighter competition. Uh, definitely, but the players in both sides of the world are very talented. Uh, you know, I, I, I've always championed the cause of the players in the Super League, but you know, for a lot of the, the Leeds and St Helens players, well, definitely St Helens players, they were playing their 40th game uh, on the weekend, and it just can't happen. I've, I've said that in the UK too. They have to, but I understand that they don't have. Um, they, they play more games, so the clubs can survive, but. It's a difficult ask to ask them to play 35 season games and then tour at the end of it. So the players are every bit as talented, but I don't know if it's conducive to international rugby league at this stage. You know, sometimes you've got the big toe, sometimes you've got to put the whole foot up your backside. You know, it's the way it goes. It's, that was probably the, 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 the third time in three and a half seasons that that would be for the biggest crowd and the biggest stakes on the line. But, you handle every situation as a coach as it, as it presents itself and um, I thought at that point in time, attitudinally we went up with Mark. We're, we're a very honest team and on that occasion um, we weren't as honest as we needed to be. I know that um, if you get the respect of the, the fans and the, and the support of, of the fans and the people that are in this community, uh, then it's uh, you know, the frustrations more shall we agree. What about what, the way the game's changed on the field in the NRL? Have you seen that uh, change uh, markedly while you've been in here? It, it's it's uh, <coughs> been probably, there's, uh, the risk management's probably been taken out of the game a fraction in the last few years. It's just, it's, uh, you know, it's more difficult to to play the game because I think there's a bit more fear of, of playing the game skillfully. So, you know, I understand that there's a lot of pressure, a lot of scrutiny from you gentlemen, uh, and I think it makes it difficult sometimes for coaches to maybe have the style that they'd like to have because of the pressures that are surrounding the job. But you know, there's always a balance. But main thing is that the competition is very tight. That's the significant difference.